Hi everyone, JB here and welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky! In the previous episode we went from the Mercia Orphanage along the Girl Seaside Way and we came to Ruin. We went to the Bracer Guild but there was no one there. So what are we going to do now? Well, first thing I did was upgrade my ordnance and my equipment. You can see here, I'm just going to scroll through. As always, you can always check the description down below to see what my ordnance and uh, equipment setup is. Something new to bear in mind, I've now got uh, Ariel and... I've got Ariel on both characters and Joshua still has that time magic, of course. I've upgraded Estelle's healing package as well, so I've got now Tyr, Tira and Latir. We'll be getting a new party member soon and Diamond Dust as well is always a nice one. So there you go. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to try and find who we're looking for. So, first thing you want to do is come down here. This way is the park, built to commemorate the end of the Hundred Days War. Okay, I have a question for everyone. As you know, you'll be right in front of the Royal Palace if you cross the Rubine River. That's where the ships of the Imperial Navy were defeated during the Hundred Days War. How was it done? I know! Go ahead. Heh, I got it. Too easy. They used the cannons that are all over Ruined City, right? Hmm, not quite. There certainly is plenty of artillery here, but we still can't withstand a heavy Imperial attack on that alone. I'll give you a hint. They employed a much more dynamic method. I know, I know! And go! What's the answer, miss? They lowered the Langland Bridge? Oh, so sorry, that's incorrect. Power to the city had been knocked out at the time, so the bridge was stuck in the raised position. Hmm. Here is the answer. Many old and decommissioned ships were sent from upriver to be decimated and sunk. Since the mouth of the river is so shallow, the Imperial ships couldn't break through. Wow, that's cool, but it seems a little much. Extreme, if you ask me. Well, we're done for the day now, so you're free to do as you wish for a while. Please have fun until it's time. So there you go, a bit of history for you about uh, Ruan. Next thing you want to do is go into the Lavantar Casino and Bar. And we want to buy something. Uh, we just want to buy the Azalea Rose, which is a new uh, food item. We've already got the Summer Munier. So we'll just go buy the Azalea Rose. You may have noticed I haven't got a lot of mirror left, but we should have enough to buy everything that we need. Anyway, next thing we want to do is go down this bridge for a scene. Whoa! This is the Langland Bridge! It sure is huge! It's got to be twice as big as the Vert Bridge! It is built more than 40 years ago. Before then, People used to have to take a ferry from one shore to the other. Why didn't they build a bridge sooner? The Rubine River is the only body of water linking the lake to the ocean. Ships have to be able to reach Grand Sol, don't they? Very astute. It wasn't possible to build the bridge until after the Orbal Revolution 50 years ago. I get it, augment power, right? But it looks almost like it just popped out of nowhere. The drawbridge is raised three times a day. The next time should be sometime this evening, I think. Cool, we need to see that. Agreed. Indeed, we'll see that, I'm sure, in the future. Next thing we want to do is head over to the cafe here. The Aqua Rossa Bar. What we want to do is, the guy you want to talk to is here. We want to try out the sub salubrious oatmeal. There we go. We ate it, and we learned the recipe. There's also another recipe we can learn. Uh, we want to buy the wine steamed egg. There we go. Another item there to add to the recipe book. Next thing we want to do is we want to go over the bridge here. Man, there sure are a lot of big buildings around here. That's because this is the warehouse district. Cargo from foreign countries is kept here for safekeeping. I see. Kind of depressing place though. Seems really lonely and desolate. Well, since the advent of airships, not much cargo is transported by sea anymore. So these warehouses don't get a lot of new shipments these days. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. 
Looks like some of the warehouses are abandoned too. Uh not quite. Not quite. And then we want to talk to this guy. What's a bunch of little kids doing here? Hey, this place is off limits. You brats ain't getting in, so scram. We never even said we wanted to come in. But mister, why do you look so nervous? Y you could tell? Never mind, you're not allowed here. Just go already. I think we may need to handle this one with some care. Well, he's sure acting strange. I wonder what's up with him. Ah, uh, Chloe knows something. Chloe clearly knows something. Anyway, next, we actually just want to head back to uh, Northern Bows. I'm going to... They, they do have names, so South uh, South Block and North Block. But I sent to call them South Bows and North Bows, because that just makes sense, right? Anyway, hold it, you lot. Who? Us? Well, well, must be a lucky day. Not too many women folk come around these parts. You're a real sight for sore eyes. And who's... and what business have you here? Haha, <laughs> oh, this and that. We've been here for quite a while, actually. If you honey's got time to spare, how about you, uh, entertain us? I, uh... Are you seriously trying to pick up girls in an empty old warehouse lot? Sorry, but we have plans already. You know, places to go, things to see... So yeah, not interested. Feel free to go away now. Oh, check you out. I like tough women. I'll take all the abuse you can dish, heart. If your goal was to creep me out even more, consider your mission accomplished. Hey, you know, if you ladies are playing tourists, then maybe we can show you around, huh? You can ditch that little kid with you and we'll have some fun. Hey now, who are you calling a little kid? Looks like you can take on Joshua if you... Hey, uh, it's okay, Estelle. It doesn't bother me. What good? What good is getting angry going to do? But but. Oh, are you holding up back for our sake, kid? How sweet. Where does this brat get off hanging around with two hotties? <laughs> I think he needs a lesson on just how unfair life can be, don't you think? Just a second. Uh, please stop. If my presence has somehow offended you, then I apologise. But if you lay a finger on the ladies, I'll make certain that you regret it. Well, what? J just who do you think you are? He's just bluffing. Huh, I get that you want to look all cool in front of the ladies, but if you're about to ex but you're about to experience a world of pain. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Huh? Oh great, another nuisance. I can't believe you guys would start again with this delinquency. You're old enough to know better. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Uh, shut, shut up. What do, what do you care what we do? You're just one of the mayor's yes men. How dare you denigrate my work? How dare you indeed. Gilbert is a valuable member of my staff. Ah, cool. Dalmore? Bah. Whoa, who's that? He's way too well dressed for this part of Dalmore. That's Dalmore, the mayor of Ruan. Ah, oh, mayor to the rescue or what? And the younger one is Gilbert, his private sec secretary, I think. Imagine being so rich that you could have your own private sec secretary. And not just for work. A private sec secretary would be like for personal stuff as well. You have to be pretty rich, right? Ruan has always been a free city. I have no intention of lodging a complaint about your manner of speech or your attire. But bothering outsiders who may be paying guests is not permissible. Stuff it, old man. You think you're such a big shot. We ain't interested in the thing you have to say. How dare you speak to the mayor in such a fashion? How would you like for us to report you to the Bracer Guild again? Ha, huh, Bracer Shemesa. Always hiding behind them. Can't you do anything on your own? Besides, it's not like the Bracers would get here right away. We'd have plenty of time to, uh, you know, enjoy the altercation. And then we'd be gone without a trace before anyone was the wiser. Uh, I hate to ruin your masterful plan, but I'm afraid we're already here. Uh, wait, 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 what? Man, you mean you still haven't noticed these badges? Maybe you guys need glasses or something. Or maybe, Estelle, they're just not that bright. With great deliberation and exaggerated movements, Estelle pointed out the bracelet emblem on her chest. She then raised her eyebrows for further emphasis. I would have also pointed at Joshua's and gone, Huh? Huh? But there we go. 
Ah, crap. You guys are bracers. Ah, oh, so wait, this little punk you're with is also a bracer. Yes. Uh, what, what do we do now? I, I can't believe that little squirt is actually a bracer. You're actually worried. Even if they are bracers, it's just a couple of girls and some kid. Dumbass, you can't judge a book by its cover, you know? You remember what happened the last time we took on a chick bracer? Even with three people, she wiped the floor with us. I wonder if that was Karna or Sherazad. Uh, going up against two bracers, even if they do look like pipsqueaks, is not a good idea. Uh, okay, we're going to let you off the hook. For now. If we see you again, though, you'll be in for some real pain. Catch you later. And, of course, the uh, tactical retreat is uh, put in motion by the... Uh, are they bandits? Are they pirates? Are they just ruffians? I don't know. Well, I do know, but I'll be spoiling it. Jeez, now those were punks. I mean, could they be any more stereotypical? Uh, no harm done. And don't we have somewhere we need to be? I must apologise. I loathe the nice city's guests are bothered. Forgive my lack of an introduction as well. I am Dalmore, Mayor of Ruin. And this is my steward, Gilbert. A pleasure, I'm sure. You're braces, are you not? Yep, yeah, I'm Estelle from Roland. And I'm Joshua, also from Roland. Jo uh, is it Jean or Jean? I'm going to go with Jean, even though he's male. Uh, I'm going to go with Jean, I think. Uh, and if that annoys you, so be it. Uh, Jean did mention some promising new faces soon to arrive. Might have been referring to you, perchance. Uh, well, I don't know about the promising part, but yeah, I think he meant us. Well, we came to ruin in search of work, actually. Ah, how delightful. We've had some hard times of late, you see, so any help we can get is simply wonderful. I'm sure your presence here will be a great boon to us. Hard times? What do you mean? Well, Jean would be the one best, to, best able to supply the details. As an aside, is that a campus uniform, my spy young lady? Uh, yes, sir. I'm Chloe Rins. I'm a second year student at the Royal Academy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Charmed. Dean Collins is a friend of mine, actually. Hmm, didn't you graduate from the Royal, from the Royal Academy yourself, Gilbert? Uh, yes, sir. You said your name was Chloe? I've heard a great deal about you. You ran against your for head of student council, right? You must be proud to have been a contender, as a junior. Ah, you flatter me, sir. Ah, <laughs> I'm looking forward to the campus festival. I trust you'll be giving your, your all to help me make it... Uh, 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 uh. I trust you'll give me... I trust you'll be giving your all to make it a memorable, memorable one, no? Uh, yes, sir. I absolutely will. Well, I think we'd best be going. If those ravens start making trouble again, feel free to drop by and let me know. Ah. So the gang's called the Ravens. Okay. It is my duty as Mayor of Ruin to ensure that these streets are safe for tourists and residents alike. Well, he was certainly a dignified one. Yes, indeed. His manner and actions were perfectly suited to the mayor of the city. House Dalmore is made up of a long line of well-bred aristocrats. Though we, were no though we no longer have real nobles, he's about as close as it gets. Now, it's like he's from a totally different world. Now, on the other hand though, you still have all the lowlifes, like those guys who tried hitting on us. Yes, that was quite unsettling. I'm very sorry for leading you into such a place so prepared. Uh, no need to apologise. It's not like we sort them out or anything. We should probably keep our distance from the back end of the warehouse district, though, to avoid any further altercations. Ah, uh, well, I don't like being restricted like that, but whatever. Ah, uh, you'll get over it, I'm sure. Next thing we want to do... Now, we've had, now got a good idea as to the flavour of um, what Ruan's like. So you've got the north block that's like nice and uh, touristy. And then you've got the South Block, which is like where the working class is, where everyone works in the warehouses and what have you. So there we go. Enough time has passed, so hopefully Jean is back from the Race Guild. And he is. Ah, come on in. Welcome to the Race Guild. Oh, oh, Miss Rins. Good afternoon, Jean. Are you here for another extermination request? Ah, I know. Security's been tightened for the campus festival. Uh, no, but I'm sure we'll be here for that at some point. Today, I'm just visiting with Estelle and Joshua. Oh, I see. So they're civilians, are they? I suppose you should have known by the lack of student attire. Wait, those emblems? 
pleased to meet you. I'm Estelle, Junior Bracer. And I'm Joshua, also a Junior Bracer. Oh, so you're Estelle and Joshua. Wow, it's so good that you're here. We're, we've been waiting for you ever since we got word from the Bose branch. Ah, oh, old man Luger must have sent word of us. We'll have to thank him. My name is Jean. I'm the receptionist for the Ruin branch. I'll be supervising you two, as well as providing various types of support. It's a pleasure to meet both of you. The pleasure's all ours. Indeed, it's good to meet you, sir. Haha, <laughs> I have high hopes for you two. After all, you are the ones who so magnificently handled the, handled the Sky Bandit incident. Sky Bandits? You mean that incident in Bose? I read about it in the latest LeBeau news. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I did write about it. Did you guys really sort that whole mess out? Aha, uh -huh. well, we just helped a little. It was the Royal Army that really did the work of apprehending them. Don't be so modest. Lugan had nothing but praise for you. Now, to change your assignment, I'll need you to sign the appropriate forms. Let's go ahead and take care of that right now. Uh, okay. Might as well get it out of the way. Estelle and Joshua signed the assignment change forms. Alright, the two of you are now part of the Ruin Branch. Welcome aboard. We've been so busy, you couldn't have picked a better time to come. Haha, <laughs> now you can't get away. Why do I feel like I just signed my life away? It looks like you're as short-handed as we heard some time ago. Is something in particular going on? I wouldn't say that exactly. We are expecting a member of the Royal Family to visit though. A member of the Royal Family? Huh. Whoa, you aren't talking about the Queen, are you? Ah, uh, no, of course not. I just know that it's someone of royal blood. I've heard that he or she will be giving Ruan a thorough inspection, though. Huh, that's kind of cool. But why would that cause you to be short staff? Because it's a member of the royal family. If even one thing is out of place, Mayor Dalmore will be worried sick. So most of our staff were, was request. Uh, so most of our staff was requisitioned to help strengthen security. I'm usually really good with reading these things out, but sometimes it's like it's a really long word that you use hardly ever in your life. I I get that. That's what was being discussed upstairs earlier. I don't think we ever went upstairs. Anyway, police in the streets, right? Yes, I feel certain that the crew at the harbour will be back in action pretty quickly. I want this city to be hooligan free during the royal visit. Ah, so the ravens are giving us trouble. Crew at the harbour? You mean the guys we dealt with earlier? Hmm, I had a feeling they were up to something. What? Do you know something? Actually... Estelle and Joshua describe what had transpired outside the warehouse district. Ah yes, the warehouse district. That's the turf of a rather unsavoury group calling themselves the Ravens. I imagine you encountered some young men and their leader there. Huh, I wonder what those Raven characters are up to. They've been fine until recently. Whoever's in charge needs to tighten the leash. The mayor's main concern though is that we cover the whole area. And that's why we're so short staffed right now. Thank goodness you two are here. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to feel wanted. I guess that means we've got a lot of help, a lot, a lot to do of helping, yeah. I guess that means we've got a lot of helping out to do tomorrow. If anything happens, just say the word and we'll help. I will, thank you. Wow, it's already evening. Look at that gorgeous sunset. That's it, that it is. All the light shines off, the, off of the streets. Ah, uh, I've always loved it too. Oh yes, it's almost time. For what? Ah, the drawbridge going up. They did mention that earlier. That's right, Chloe said that it comes up three times a day, so this must be the evening one. I assume the other two happen about morning and like noon, and then in the evening, of course. Maybe it's time with meals and such. I don't know. Ah, that really is a masterpiece. Uh, how long does it stay up? Uh, 30 minutes, I believe. It's raised in the early morning, just before noon, and then the evening. And it isn't lowered again until all the ships have passed. Nailed it! I see. So, when there's usually no foot traffic. Ha, ah, I admit, it's easy for a first-timer to get confused. Oh, that reminds me. What are you guys planning to do about lodging? Uh, well, the second floor of the guild is always an option. Although, I could really go for a luxurious hotel. Well, I think you might want to hurry and get a room. This is tourist season, so they tend to fill up pretty quickly. Alright, no time like the present then. Yeah, let's go! 
Indeed, let's go. Hint, hint, you want to go to the hotel. So the hotel is... Let me get my bearings. Yeah, so you want to go around here? Let me just see if I've done everything I want to do today. Yeah, so we'll go to the hotel for a scene. Want to talk to this guy? Talk. Hello, welcome to the Hotel Blanche. Do you have a reservation with us? No, but we were hoping that... Do you have any rooms available? Impeccable timing, sir. We just had a cancellation for the room on the top floor. If it pleases you, I can show it to you now. A penthouse, huh? That could be nice. But isn't that going to be expensive? Since it's empty due to the cancellation, I'd happy to charge you the standard rate. Not to mention, you appear to be bracers. I consider it an honour to serve you for all the hard work you do in protecting our citizens. Haha, <laughs> well when you put it like that, how can we refuse? So yes, we would like the room. As you wish, sir. Haha, uh, well, was that was yeah, well, that was a stroke of luck, wasn't it? Anyway, I think I'll go back to campus for the time being. I won't make it back before the dorms are locked up, if I don't hurry. Oh, right, you said you could only stay until evening. Ah, well, I hate to see you go, but I understand. Would you like us to escort you back? Haha, uh, it's alright. I know the way. Thanks for letting me come with you today. Ah, uh, oh, come on. We should be thanking you. Yeah, we really appreciate you playing tour guide for us. Oh, it's no big deal. And you two are going to be in ruin for a while, right? If you are, I was hoping you'd come to the campus festival at the end of next week. A festival? Given the Royal Academy's reputation, I'm betting it's more than just balloons and party games. Yes, it's an independent, academy-sanctioned student celebration. It's a major tradition, really. Okay, now you've got my attention. Will it have stage skits and food stands? Will it have chocolate-covered poms? Haha, <laughs> maybe. They really pull out all the stops. Oh yeah, I'm so there! Uh, I mean, I'd love to join you for the preparations. Now, hold on, Estelle. Did you forget how busy we had the guild is? Well, that man again... Man, that again? Ah. Oh. Still, I guess it can't hurt to take a break on the day of the festival. But until then, we've got work to do. Ah. <sighs> well, if you'll both pardon me then, I'll see you again soon. Sure, see you later. Be safe. Hmm, she's such a sweetie, yet yeah, she's all dignified. If I were a guy, I'd be completely wrapped around her finger. You, your painfully obvious illusions aside, she certainly seems to be a genuinely nice, guileless girl. Definitely not some, like some sneaky sky bandit I could mention. Meeting her sure was lucky. We even got a sweet room here thanks to her advice. I'll bet we could even spot Sieg with a view, with the view we have up here. Haha, <laughs> you may be right. Well, how about we take our bags up to the room? The penthouse room, you mean? Yay! The penthouse room! Which we are going to check out in the next episode! In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Throw a like on the video and subscribe for more. In the meantime, I've been JB. This has been The Legend of Heroes Trolls in the Sky. And I'll see you in the next one.